Hello and welcome to the first part of the video series on Java programming. You are about to embark on a journey of learning one of the most popular and powerful programming languages in the world. In this lesson, we'll briefly answer the question, what is programming? We'll also talk about programming languages, their categories and different types of programming paradigms. My name is Amir Ibrahim and I am delighted to be your guide for this course. In this lesson, we'll be covering the following topics. Computer system. What are the main components of a computer and how they work together? Programming language. What are the tools that programmers use to create software applications? Classifications of programming language. What are the different categories of programming language and how they differ in syntax, semantics, and features? Programming language paradigms. What are the different ways of organizing and structuring code and logic? By the end of this lesson, you will have a clear overview of programming and the various types of programming languages and paradigms. This will help you to build a strong foundation for your programming journey. So let's get started. What is a computer system? Let's begin by discussing the concept of computer system. Assume that you all are familiar with the basic idea of computer system. A computer system is a collection of hardware and software components that interact to perform various tasks. Hardware refers to the physical part of a computer system, such as central processing unit, memory, storage devices, input devices and output devices. Software refers to the instructions that control the hardware, such as operating system, applications and drivers. Hardware and software are interdependent parts of a computer system. Hardware needs software to function properly, and software needs hardware to execute commands. Without hardware, software would have no platform to run on. Without software, Hardware is just a collection of useless plastic and metallic parts. What is a computer program? A computer program is a set of instructions that tells a computer what to do. It is a sequence of steps that the computers follow to perform a task. Computer programs are written in programming languages, which are special languages that computers can understand. Computer programs are used to create all kinds of software from operating systems and word processors to games and web browsers. What is a programming language? A programming language is a formal language that specifies a set of instructions that can be used to produce various kinds of outputs. Programmers use programming language to develop software programs, scripts or other sets of instructions for computers to execute. Each programming language has its own syntax which is a set of rules that govern how the language is used. Once a programmer learns the language syntax, they can write the source code in a text editor or IDE. There are over 1000 programming languages available, and the choice of which language to use depends on the specific application that's being developed as well as the maintainability, scalability, performance and security requirements of the app. Categories of programming language Programming languages can be categorized in a variety of ways, based on different factors. Some of the most common criteria include generation, purpose, and paradigm. Generation One way to categorize programming languages by generations, which reflect the major improvements that each generation made over the previous one. Programming languages can be classified into four categories based on their generation. These categories are machine language, assembly language, high level language, and fourth generation language. Machine language The lowest level of programming language is machine language, which consists of binary digits, zeros, and ones that directly manipulate the computer hardware. 
Machine language is very hard for humans to understand and use. But it is the fastest and most efficient way to program a computer. Assembly language The next level of programming language is assembly language, which is more readable than machine language but still requires a lot of knowledge of computer hardware. Assembly language uses shorthand names or mnemonics for machine instructions, and it also has some additional features that make it easier for humans to use. Assembly language is not as user-friendly as high-level language, but it is faster and more efficient than a high-level language. High-level language The third level of programming language is high-level language, which is designed to be easy for humans to use. Some examples of high-level programming languages are C, C++, Java, Python, and JavaScript. Fourth generation language. A fourth generation language is a high level programming language that is designed to be closer to natural language and easier to use than third generation language. Fourth generation language aims to reduce the complexity and time required to develop software applications by providing more abstraction, automation, and user friendly interfaces. Language claimed to be fourth generation may include support for database management, report generation, mathematical optimization, GUI development, or web development. Purpose Another way to categorize programming languages by their intended use or purpose. Some languages are general purpose, meaning they can support a broad range of applications while others are domain-specific, meaning they are tailored for a particular problem domain. For instance, C is a general-purpose language that is commonly used for system programming, while SQL is a domain-specific language that is used for database programming. Paradigm Programming languages can be classified by their paradigm which focuses on style of programming or set of principles and practices that guide how to program or solve a problem. Some of the most common programming paradigms include procedural programming, object-oriented programming, functional programming, and logic programming. Each paradigm has its own strengths and weaknesses. Procedural programming Procedural programming is a programming paradigm that organizes code into functions, which are called procedures in some languages. Procedures are used to break down a program into smaller, more manageable parts. Procedural programming is the oldest and most basic programming paradigm and is still widely used today. Examples of procedural programming languages include C, Pascal, and Fortran. Object-Oriented Programming, in short, OOP. Object-Oriented Programming is a paradigm that organizes data and behavior into reusable units called objects. Objects have attributes and methods that define their state and functionality. OOP allows programmers to create modular and reusable code that can be easily extended and maintained. OOP is a popular programming paradigm because it allows for code reuse, modularization, and easier debugging. Some popular OOP programming languages include Java, Smalltalk, and Ruby. Functional programming Functional programming languages are a paradigm of programming that emphasize the use of pure functions, immutable data structures, and high-order abstractions. Unlike imperative or object-oriented languages, functional languages do not rely on mutable state or side effects to express computations. Instead, they use mathematical concepts such as lambda calculus, algebraic data types, and monads to model complex behavior. Functional programming languages can offer benefits such as increased readability, modularity, testability, and parallelizability of code. Some examples of functional programming languages are Haskell, Lisp, Clojure, and Scala. Logic programming 
Logic programming languages are a family of programming languages that use logic as the basis for computation. Logic programming languages allow programmers to express problems and solutions in terms of factors, rules, and queries, rather than low-level instructions. Logic programming languages are often used for artificial intelligence, natural language processing, and knowledge representation. Some examples of logic programming languages are Prolog, Datalog, and Answer Set Programming. This video tutorial has come to an end. I hope you gained some new and valuable knowledge today. If you like this video, please show your support by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel for more tutorials and tips on computer science and programming. You can also share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Thank you for your time and attention, and I will see you in the next video.